James is an A-list celebrity with fame, fortune, and an immense following on social media. Millions of people read and react to his posts and hang on to his every word during interviews. He's living the life until his character comes into question in the form of several tweets that allege that he demonstrated problematic behavior. Overnight, he starts losing jobs, his follower count is dro dropping, and the public is demanding answers. James is in the process of being canceled. Cancel culture is the social media practice of shaming an individual who has violated a social norm, usually resulting in a loss of social capital, including wealth, work, and relationships. Through the research question, how do people participate in cancel culture on Twitter? This research aims to understand how cancel culture works by determining the process of canceling. I conducted a case study of Kevin Spacey's cancellation that took place in 2017 via Twitter after a BuzzFeed News article revealed sexual assault allegations against Spacey by former co-star Anthony Rapp, where Rapp was underage at the time of the assault. Hours after the article was released, the first tweet with the words, Kevin Spacey is canceled, was posted. Spacey's social capital quickly declined, resulting in Spacey being reshot in a role he already filmed and being removed from his starring role in Netflix's hit drama, House of Cards. Utilizing content analysis, a qualitative method that analyzes text to determine meaning, I collected every tweet on Twitter that used the hashtags Kevin Spacey and canceled. This resulted in hundreds of tweets that I then coded to determine common themes. This led to my establishment of the three-step process of canceling. First is the recognition of a problematic behavior, which is most often a violation of an established social norm. In Spacey's case, sexually assaulting a minor. This recognition takes place on social media through posts circulating and gaining attention. The second step is collecting and distributing evidence. Social media users post and share evidence they have collected that either aid in proving or disproving the allegations. This evidence can take the form of interviews, responses from the accused, or people who know them, images, and more. Utilizing hashtags also helps categorize and sort the evidence and often leads to trending hashtags that gain popularity and recognition, such as hashtag cancel Kevin Spacey. The third step is the call to action. If the evidence proves that the accused is guilty, then there is a call by those canceling for removal of social support. In Spacey's case, this took the form of fans not purchasing, viewing, or promoting Spacey's work and members of Hollywood refusing to work with him. This research has revealed several implications regarding cancel culture. One of them being how cancel culture redistributes power to the masses, which emphasizes the importance of what the masses value. For if these values are violated, then the public holds immense power to remove the violator from their social standing by withdrawing support on a grand scale through social media. As social media continues to evolve, so will cancel culture. And understanding how cancel culture functions leads to understanding how people on social media communicate, work together, and create change. The continued success of many is in the hands of social media users, where they serve as judge, jury, and counselor.